Welcome to Midlife Matters, where we celebrate women's wisdom and wit. I'm George Ann Lucier, your host, and I'm very pleased to welcome today's guest, Dr. Linda Spoonster Schwartz, who has been the Commissioner of the Connecticut Veterans Affairs for 10 years. I am the first uh, woman in 150 years of Connecticut having mm-hmm. a veteran's home. I had no idea that I would remain the commissioner. What would my legacy be? Right. And uh, so that was when I began working on the Women Veterans Network. Tell me, tell me and the audience more about this Women Veterans Network. Well, a network where we try to identify the women veterans mm-hmm. in each of the towns and cities. It's worked out pretty well because we have mostly social functions. In addition to helping women in uh, veterans in their towns, they're also um, they're also good advocates for each other. And we have about sixteen thousand women veterans mm-hmm. in the state, and we are blessed to have many that served during World War II. Mm-hmm. So the things that women are doing today in the military is things they only dreamed of or never even expected mm-hmm. to see, and uh, we we decided that we wanted to keep in touch. We've been very successful with that, and I, that was something that came from the women themselves, that they wanted to be there to help each other. I'm going to share a few of the um, goals about the VetNet. is outreach, increasing visibility and awareness of um, women vets, creating a database so you can share information and yes. facilitate conversation and gatherings, right, and uh, relationships to help be an advocate in terms of any special needs that women have um, that have served, to identify health and human resources that are available, provide mutual support and assistance, and to promote their accomplishments, which I think would, is wonderful in terms of having younger women perhaps consider a career in the military. I think you're right. right? It's uh, the women of today who are serving, pushing the envelope now, mm-hmm. and they are creating a whole new tradition for women in the military. Mutual support actually has come during some of our disasters and some of the difficulties that we've had. The younger veterans who know that they're older women veterans mm-hmm. in their town tend to check on them. Nice. That's what That's we really want. Yes, we want to, and, we want to yeah. increase the awareness about our service and help with any of the needs of women veterans, mm-hmm. but that is a mutual support. We're taking a a step further by starting an advisory committee for women veterans in the state of Connecticut, which will be someone who will be, if, I, if I'm the commissioner, great, I'll hear what they have mm-hmm. to say, but if some, in the future, um, they will be advisory to the commissioner mm-hmm. on uh, issues pertaining to women veterans. Thank you so much for being on Midlife Matters, and I look forward to hearing more about your VetNet group and all the wonderful work that you're doing, and I'm just honored that you came on. Well, so. it's been a thank pleasure you. to talk That's with great. you, uh, and I thank you for the opportunity because maybe someone will listen and need or want to be part of the VetNet, or might th- have somebody a veteran that needs some help, and I want them to know that we're here for them. Absolutely.